In this video, we're going to give you a home tour of this lovely southwestern style home located in the southeast part of town down in Vail. And this property is situated on a half an acre. Uh, and this great home is built in 2005. And there is no, a oh, it, there's zero HOA here. So as we walk in here, we can check it out. It's got really high ceilings and it is um, got a nice, really nice entryway here coming into the, the front of the building. Nice rustic look again with the Southwestern motif here. That's a, a purposely rusted metal door, <laughs> which is the style here. You can see they got the whole thing going on. Really tall, solid wood frame door here. And this house is a two bedroom, two bath with an office and a den. And again, you have a really tall ceiling. That's probably at least 15 feet up there as you walk in. And then the rest of the house is like 10 foot ceilings. So it really opens up the footprint. This house is only a 2,025 square feet. And as we walk in here, you can kind of poke your head into the entryway or into the living room. And then the kitchen's gonna be off to the left. But before we head over there, we're gonna immediately turn to the right here and we're gonna look at the guest bedroom first. You do have nice tile here uh, throughout. They are asking 395 for this, 395,000 for this property. And it would be more, it would be more in the $500,000 range, except it only, is only a two bedroom uh, property. So here's the first bedroom. They got carpet in there. And again, it's all decked out in the Southwestern style, which fits the, the type of house it is. It's a nice sized bedroom, lots of natural light and a closet. And that opens up into the guest bathroom. So that's the way back out. But we'll come into the guest bathroom briefly, check it out. So it's kind of like a Jack and Jill style, but you can see it's got a nice uh, stand walk-in shower here. And then that door actually goes out to the office. So you can enter this bathroom from either side, kind of like the Jack and Jill style where you share two doors, nice fixtures, dual sinks, very cool guest bathroom. And again, it is attached to the guest, the one guest bedroom. And that goes into the office area, which we're gonna come back out and access around the corner here. So you come out this way. And again, that goes back to the, the entrance and this goes out to the living area. And then immediately we're gonna turn right here. And it's just like an open office. You can see it's kind of a, you could easily enclose that and you know, it'd be a bedroom, but it'd be very small. So they do have it all decked out like with desks and stuff. Again, a uh, nice natural light up there coming in that window. And then that heads back into the bathroom right here as we saw like before. So after that, back there is the Again, the main entryway and then the kitchen, you have a good shot of that and we'll come back around the other way. And before we head into the kitchen, we're gonna go down the hall. This so is a split bedroom floor plan also. We go over this way and to the right, we're gonna have our primary bedroom. And then to the left, we have our utility and laundry room. This is just a utility closet with a hot water heater and furnace and stuff. And then right here we have the laundry, lots of nice cabinetry. And then it actually has a nice utility sink here as well. And then this door is gonna open up into the garage. We'll just poke our heads out there briefly. It's a nice finished garage, two car. But one cool thing about this particular garage is it is a tandem. So it's two car here and it does have that extra space. So if you had a golf cart or a razor or side by side or some quads or something, you could park some stuff up there or even me personally, I would have my weight set, my weight room right there, with the power rack and everything like that and some dumbbells, but that's just me. But you could do whatever you want up there in that space or just put storage up there, what have you. So definitely a nice touch. 
And opening back up, we'll go check out the primary bedroom here. And nice track lighting. Pretty cool accents, the pictures and stuff on the wall with that lighting. And this is carpeted down here. Nice sliding glass door that opens out to the outside. Again, this is all 10 foot ceilings. Again, this is no HOA. This property is kind of on the outskirts. A lot of the homes out here are on well and septic. This one actually is connected to the sewer system and it is on um, city water as well. So you don't have to worry about a well or a septic tank or anything. So you have this nice long hallway with all these closets here, his and hers. And then you have a bathroom with a dual vanity. So that's one there. And then all this cabinetry and storage right here. And then you have the other side. It's like, that looks like the female side with the makeup or whoever does the makeup these days. And then if we turn around, that kind of is looking back into the bedroom. And right here to the left, have a nice, really big walk-in shower. There's no step here, so it's really easy to get in and out. There's actually seats in there. And it is, um, and there's two, two shower heads, so it is like a tandem shower. And then in this door is the actual commode private in there with its own fan and door and you know privacy there to do your thing so pretty neat and then this actually opens up into the backyard and you can get through the kitchen as well to get out here which we will check out here shortly you can see they got the nice southwestern you know woodwork up there and you know wood pillars on the posts on the porch all of uh all pretty congruent with the Southwest style of home here. And now let's go check out the kitchen as we walk back into the main entry. You do have the tall ceilings throughout and the tile running through here. So those are not granite or anything. They are for mica countertops. Granite would be definitely a nice touch on this, but overall a really cool open uh, floor plan here in the kitchen. And it's got a bar and sink, flat top gas uh, oven or stove top here, which is really cool. Uh, the actual ovens are back over there. So there is an actual oven, lots of storage and countertop as well. And then coming around the outside of the bar, you have like a dining area. All natural light that you get to look out your, your backyard and if you really like the nature, it's very cool. And then you got the track lighting, pendant lights hanging over there. So overall, this is a really super nice house. I think I mentioned, or maybe I forgot, but it is was built in 2006, so this is a pretty new home as well. So let's head out back. So this property is on half an acre, and it kind of sits towards the back of the property. And you can kind of see this row of cactus there in the back. That's kind of the in, back end of the property. So the yard's not like super huge, but there are no fences here. There's a little wall on, the, on that side just kind of separating the neighbor. Um, and then over there you have the neighbor's wall in their yard. There's like really no yard or anything, but you do have a lot of space. Do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of that having that open yard like this. It definitely opens it up. It would be tough if you had a dog though, cause it's not, uh, not fenced in at all. Nice swing and you got the, the woodwork and everything here. Lots of room on the side over here too. So definitely lots of privacy. The neighbors are over there, but you got all these nice trees blocking it. So overall really cool. Really cool property, very quiet out here in Vail. Um, again, leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions on this home or any others, or you want some information about living in Vail or Tucson in general, go ahead and reach out to me. 
All my contact information is in the description below. And I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. Go watch some more videos in this series or check out some of my other home tours all over Tucson. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.